Howdy folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back in the Video Jug Kitchen for my playlist, Good Food, Good Times. Now if you could take macaroni cheese and merge it with cauliflower cheese, that my friends is what we are doing today and it will taste amazing. Let's do it. So first up, we have got a pan of water roaring away like a cauldron. We're just going to pour in our macaroni, quite similar to the ziti recipe I did earlier on this playlist, but this is a bit more of a scrappy one. Ziti's a bit posh, but don't tell anyone that. We're just in that goes like that. So while that's bubbling away, we've got another nice hot pan here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil in there, and I've got an onion that's been finely chopped. So in goes our onion. Just going to soften up about five minutes. Okay, folks, it's been five minutes, and hopefully you can see there those onions have got a nice little brown tinge to them, and that colour is flavour, and that's what we're after. We've got the chopped garlic clove, boom, in that goes. Uh, just a one minute there, just to brown that as well, and then all we do is take off the heat. Our macaroni there is bubbling away, it's lonely. Let's join it with our cauliflower. Just push that in. Oh my goodness. Like a big steam room of vegetable and pasta, love it. Okay, so we've got a lovely colour on there. It's only been a minute, the garlic has had enough, so I'm taking it off the heat. Our cauliflower's cooking away there for around about five to seven minutes just to initially soften it up. We'll keep using this hob here because we're going to start to make a roux for our cheesy sauce. So all we need to do, using that heat that's already there with our saucepan, we've got a knob of butter here. We're just going to sit that in there, let it warm up, and as it starts to foam, we'll then add in our flour. Right, so our butter is all nice and melted now, it's bubbling away. So what we're going to do is add in our flour. Remember guys, if you want to have the go at this recipe, don't forget to check out the description box down below that's got the full method and ingredients. So we're just mixing this through, getting that flour all incorporated over the heat, just let it bond together. Right, so it's thickened up nice and lovely now, that flour is initially just cooked through. We're now going to grab our milk, so just do this off the heat for the moment. I'll just take it down here so you can see it. So the milk goes in, kind of like Tom Cruise in the movie Cocktail, the long pour if you want, or the short pour, whatever you like. Get it in there, and what you want to do, put it back over that heat, and we'll just want to mix it through, working out all those lumps, bringing it to a very light simmer. Okay, so our roux is nice and thickened, but I've got to be honest with you, it's a little bland. So what we're going to do is add in our grated cheddar cheese, like so. That'll just melt naturally under the heat that's already in there. I've got a stock cube, which I'm going to sit in. I'm just going to crumble a little bit, and again, that'll work through too. I've got a little bit of whole grain mustard. Here we go, about a heaped teaspoon. This is all flavour. It's all optional. If you're not a mustard fan, you don't have to do this. A little bit of black pepper and a little bit of nutmeg too. Just do whatever you like here. As I'm mixing this through, guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe to both Video Jug Food and of course, My Virgin Kitchen. Let's crack on. See all those flavors coming together now. That is not a boring old roux anymore. We've got the must in there. We've got the stock cube now fully integrated, the nutmeg, the pepper. They're loving it in there. So this roux is gonna love us even more now because we're just pushing in those browned onions and garlic. I'm just loving that color. So it's been just under 15 minutes now. I'm going to drain off the cauliflower and the macaroni together. Here we go. Right, in goes our macaroni and cauliflower. Boom, like so. Big old steamy. I'm loving that. If you want a free facial guys tip for you, just go like that. It's not the best, but you know, worth trying it out. So here we go. Here is our lovely roux. I'm going to do the long pour. I'm Tom Cruise again. I'm pouring that right on top of that. What we want to do now is stir this through and get that flavor working all the way through those mini tubes of macaroni. So I'm just going to incorporate this through now, give it a good coating. Try not to be too rough with it. You don't want to damage the cauliflower too much. And I've got a greased baking dish here. We're going to pour it in there. Wah! Boom, straight into our dish. We're going to even it all out, spread it nice and evenly with your spoon. So it's all sat in there beautifully. Right, so that's all our mixture on there. Oh my goodness, that is looking good. I want to put my swim cap on right now, dive right in there. I'm not going to, I'm going to grab some mozzarella. This is shredded mozzarella. You can go to town on it, give it a good layer. I'm just going to go like that. Just get it all nice and covered and coated. Cheese on cheese action, X-rated food porn. So this is completely optional. You can give it a nice seasoning on top of that cheese. You can go to town on the cheese. You can add even more if you like. As you can see, I'm quite a big fan of it. The oven is preheated to 200 degrees centigrade, AKA gas mark six. If you're a gas man like I am, not a profession, just a gas oven, you know what I'm saying? So in this goes for about 20 minutes, golden brown on top, and then we can eat it. Okay, folks, so while that's in the oven, you can make an optional yummy little breadcrumb topping. I've got some breadcrumbs here that I've lightly toasted, a nice little bit of color variation on there, about a pinch a freshly chopped coriander, that going in there like so. Some black pepper again, loving the black pepper. Great on some Parmesan, about a heap teaspoon of that. And then a little bit of lemon zest, not too much, just about a teaspoon of that as well. And if you want, just to give it a little cheeky zap to help it bond together as well, slice the lemon, a little bit of lemon juice in there, cover your hand to stop the pips going in, and then just work it together lightly 
with your hands and that's an optional breadcrumb topping for this mac and cheese. Be careful guys, this is hotter than me on a beach wearing speedos. Sorry about that. But anyhow, this is completely optional, the breadcrumb top in here. You don't have to do it, it's just gonna give it a nice little crunch. You're just gonna scatter that on top like so, but the smell is unbelievable. I am moonwalking in this kitchen right now. I'm moonwalking, I can't really do a moonwalk, but I'm moonwalking out the kitchen right now. Really hope you give this a try. Don't forget to send a picture at Video Jug Food and My Virgin Kitchen. Love to see your spin on it, and see you next time.